YouTube, welcome back to Blind Pups. Today, I have all my ECCC pups. Yeah. I hope everybody is staying indoors, staying safe, washing their hands, and all that stuff. But I finally got all my packages in. And um, I was patient. But uh, here they are. So what did we get? We got Evelyn or Evelyn? Evelyn? Whatever her name is. And He-Man Slime Pit version. That one's pretty cool. He is number 962. And then the Great Gazoo Glow in the Dark. This one was from GameStop, by the way. And so is that. Great Gazoo from the Flintstones, number 7. 43. Probably should show you the back of these boxes. So there's. I don't know where her name is at. Pez. Do, 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 do. I don't see it. There was a couple other ones that they had at GameStop of Masters Universe, but I only got her. And then Slime Pit He-Man. There's the side of the box. And the back. You'd think they'd have like the new set. The new series set on the back. But what I'm looking forward to is a He-Man on Battle Cat. We'll put him on the side. <clears throat> and now back to Great Gazoo. Number 743. He looks cool. Where are you? He's always calling Fred and uh, Barney dum-dums. Hey, dum-dums. Nothing on the back. I did not get the Fred and Barney with their uh, water buffalo hats on or Betty and Wilma. Sadly, but I wanted a zoo. Where were we next? The soda cans, we'll get to the soda cans in a minute. Then I got the Dungeons and Dragon, number 576. It's like a gelatinous cube, like everybody calls him. Because that's his name, gelatinous cube. Huh. There is the side of the box, and this box is a little bigger than a normal Funko box. Just to buy a little bit. But luckily I have my pop sideways, so he'll be fine. He'll be fine. And does it doesn't have anything on the back. Oh, look, they've made, they've made a bunch already. Yeah, I've seen him. I thought he, that one was from an anime. <clears throat> And the office number 938, Dwight as, Dwight Schrute as Recyclops. I hope they make his other versions of Recyclops. He looks super cool. But uh, here's all the ones from that series. And uh, one second. All right, sorry about that. Charlie was in the other room listening to something on his iPad. And I can still hear it, but hopefully you guys can't. Hopefully it's muffled to you guys. Don't know who he's watching on YouTube. Um, here is Freddy Funko. This is the Pop Towns with Funko HQ. I think it's super awesome. It looks exactly like it. Can you see my reflection? This is number 12 in the line. And I'll be taking all of these out, so we'll see them all out of box. Next, I purchased this one before the whole stay-at-home thing happened. But I purchased this one at uh, Target. Actually, my husband did. Because I've been home. I can't leave because of my diabetes and my chronic asthma. <clears throat> it's Dr. Doom. I really like this Dr. Doom. The white and black and the, and the silver or gray. 591. 
Here he is. The only one I'm missing is the GameStop exclusive Invisible Woman, or Invisible Girl, whatever you want to call her. Um, but I pretty much have all the exclusives. The the Marvel Collector Corp, um, Barnes & Noble's, Hot Topic. Did a box lunch come out with one? I'm not sure. And now the ECCC one. I still hope that they do make a Galactica, if that's his name. Galactic? Galactus. I don't know his name, but they need to make him huge. All I know is that he's in a video game at the very end and kicks my butt every time. Uh, who's next? Let's move the soda cans. I did pop the tops open already to make it easier to open. I did not see what's inside. Because I want to be surprised with the rest of you. The next one is... This is also Masters of the Universe, number 951. It's Triclops. It looks cool. My brother used to be a big fan back when he was young of uh, Masters of the Universe. He had everything. He had the uh, he had the Battle Cat. He had the Castle. He had it all. And then for some reason, I had a She-Ra birthday party, so I probably had everything She-Ra. When I was little. But I was probably too young for this still. I don't know how... Probably five, six, seven when this was popular. I mean, I say it's popular now, too. Everybody loves it. And my favorite, Sean Kemp. From the Super Sonics, number 72. Sean Kemp is my favorite basketball player. Um, I used to go to school with uh, the coach's son. We were in the same grade, same classes. I remember when I saw the coach to the to the the Sonics coach at like one of our events that we had at school. I remember going up to him and like, "Good job." This was like in middle school. I was like, what a dork. And then in um, art class, I had made a... We were making marionettes, and I made a Sean Kemp marionette. I wish I still had it. It was awesome. Ah, I used the word again. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to not use that word. There's the sticker, by the way. Oh, I didn't show you. Uh, my Triclops. I ordered it from FYE. So this was Target. Target. Um... Walmart, Funko HQ, and then the Gelatinous Cube was also from uh, GameStop, and Triclops was from FYE, but they sent me the con sticker, so that's pretty cool. I got one con sticker. And for the last pop, we have Millhouse Box Lunch Exclusive. I really like the Simpsons Pops. I have none of the old ones. It's number 765. I would love the Krusty the Clown and Homer. Krusty the Clown is probably like the one I really want most, but he's pricey. He is super pricey. Here are all the ones in their outfits. Uh, I hope it turns out that it's true. I heard that, that maybe they'll be making more Treehouse of Horror Pops. I heard there's a zombie Krusty the Clown, which would be awesome. Or was it a vampire Krusty the Clown? Now let's get to the soda cans, what we've been all waiting for. I did take the plastic off, like I said, but I did not look at it. So here's Huckleberry Hound. 3,500, and he has, I think, just the uh, shared exclusive sticker. You pop it up in. Oh, he fell. I think I put him on the wedge right here. Yeah, I did. Let's move these down a little bit. Oh, yes, I forget. They're in, a, they're in this blind bag. Let's move that away so we don't see the pog. And let's get this open. Sorry, I hit my phone. It's hard to do this with only one hand.
I would just say, no, in this case, I would really like the green ones. And I think, oh my god. Did I get the green one? Yeah, I got the green one. I was gonna say, uh, I did not want the chase. I want the green one because it's part of the whole ECC thing. Look, a very hell green. I love it. <clears throat> For Emerald City Comic Con. You can see the pog. There it is. Now let's just hope I get the green Batman. It's only 500 or exclusives. I think like Fungo got all the exclusives when they were opening. Doing their opening, that's all they were getting was that Chase's. Let's go to this one. There we go. Is there like a tear strip on this? Hmm. So I'm gonna cross on opening this? Okay. See this together. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he's the green one. Honestly, I did not know what other color it was, but I wanted the green one. <laughs> His eyes. I'm Batman. In green. He is the Batman for Seattle, Washington. Like Phoenix Jones. Seattle used to have it. their own little superhero walking around the streets. That was, that was epic. That was funny. Love it. Anyways, let me get these all out. Sorry if this video is super long, but let me get them all. And we'll take a quick look at all of them, and I'll be right back. All right. So after struggling to open all of these, got them all open. Here is He-Man. It's kind of kind of clear, but not really. I don't think you can see through him, maybe in the light. Nah. It looks cool. I really like it. Why was he a slime pit? If you know, let me know down below. Did he go into a slime pit and came out all toxic? Did he come out even more powerful? Wah! And then the gelatinous cube. Can we see what's in it? It looks like a skull. A warrior of some type. So I think there's a sword. And a shield. This looks cool. I wonder if uh, Dungeons and Dragons are gonna let players use this as a as a playing token. And then here is Sean Kip. Got his goatee, and there's the green jersey number forty, the one I had. I wish I still had that jersey too. God, so many things that you have back in the day, and you just wish that you would have held on to it for for uh, nostalgic memories. Not to resell at a ridiculous price. Let's stick them over here, because I do eventually want to get to the cast to the castle, to the house. Hmm, and then I already showed you these two. But here he is again, Huckleberry Hound. I've got to fix my uh, shelf with all my soda pops so I can take my shelfie picture for Funko Photo a day. Hashtag Funko Photo a day. And if you're not following me, follow me on Instagram at Blind Pops. One word. Well, here's the Pez. I do take all my Pez out because I like to put them in my display case. She looks cool. If you want a Pez, stick her over there. Now we can get to Freddy. Here's his crown. And he's holding his bags full of stuff. I wonder what Poppy has in there. What pops did you buy, Freddy? And he's wearing an apron and a t-shirt. I like a polo. In the back. I like the color of his shoes. Nice shoes. It's 
put you right over there so you don't fall. And here is the Pop Town, my favorite. This is probably my favorite out of all, next to Sean Kemp. One of these windows, the dragon from uh, Game of Thrones is in the one of the windows. I don't know which one. Here's the door, and there's the, this would be like what forest, what more forest? Then all the employees' offices, and they even have the gutters, I think. Were they up here uh, during a something? I don't know if it was like an Instagram picture or or they were doing a recording. But were they up here? Like, do they have like a lounge area up here for barbecues if they wanted to? That'd be cool. And then I guess the side has less design to it. When we can go out again, I'm definitely gonna have to go take a look because I don't remember if we were able to see this part of the building or not. If there's anything above. And then the line, seriously, no joke. When uh, when there's something that everybody wants. Oh, hold on. There's Freddy right there. And then the sign. I've taken many pictures of this sign before. But from the door, the line wraps around all the way. And then here's like the alley. So then it's like a little drive entrance that you cross and then like more um more sidewalk you literally it's gone past past here if you're about right over here in the line you're not getting anything i think you have to be somewhere around right here around here somewhere where you're almost guaranteed a chance of getting something just depending because i mean people kind of huddle together and they're close together and there's like more than more than one person in the group sometimes. It's like four or five. Here's the back entrance, and this is probably into their uh, to their warehouse. I really like this though. The Funko HQ, little look. And then if you've watched uh, any of uh, original Funko's uh, videos, the HQ videos, look. And they're showing this off. They'll point out to you like where, where they're at or where they're. Usually they're downstairs in the basement. Next, like I said, this was a Funko Funko HQ exclusive. It's the Great Gazoo. He looks cool. Oh, my kids are listening to Michael Jackson. And he comes with the stand. Funny, none of these came with stands. They're feeling pretty secure about about their pups being able to stand alone, I guess. I mean, if you don't have to waste the money on that extra plastic, why not, right? He dropped the ice cream and it's all over his shoe. Poor Millhouse. He always had a crush on Bart's sister. And then here is Triclops. The toy uh, you could push, and it makes uh, his head spin to a different face. There's the sword. It's green. And then uh, Charlie just came into the room. Hey, Charlie. Hi. What's going on? Well, 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 well Issa, she, she was trying to make a hoop, and then she hit my clock, and then it spilled. Oh. No, wait, wait. Did you tell her to pick it up? Mm. Go tell your sister to pick it up. Well, Say you're going to make a mess well, in her room if she doesn't. Well, well, well I did it, but, but, but it's not helping me. Oh, well, you did it? Yeah. Then you need to pick it up and stop <laughs> telling fibs, dude. Getting people in trouble when they don't need to be. Oh, the life of a parent. Here is Recyclops. Oh, look. Ah, he has the same... Where, where'd you go? Their little eyes. Dwight, I love Dwight. I love the office. And he's holding a little flower in his hand. Trust me, you never want to be on Dwight's bad side. And Dr. Doom, a bubblehead, because he is a Marvel character. Do, 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 do. Da, da. I don't know. 
making up my own music now. But he looks awesome. Ah, said it again. Well, at least it wasn't a hundred times like in my previous videos. But what do you guys think? I need to put all this away and see where I'm going to put it. But I'm super happy I got all this. Now I, now I have no more pops to wait for in the mail. Because I did get, uh, you can see him over there. He'll be in the next video. I did get my Dr. Pepper, that Dr. Pepper guy. Um, but that's it for another video. And I'm like trying not to buy as much right now. Just because. Anyways, I hope you guys are all staying safe and not losing your mind being indoors. But, uh, you know, if we all stick together and we all do what they say, then hopefully we can go back to our normal life soon and be able to go out again. And not have to stress about bringing the ick to one of our family members. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. On that sad note, I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.